Well, we pulled into Bow Rattle, but we thought we'd overnight here. Look, fantastic setup they got. Poor hard service, must be a car park for the town. Electric um, vehicle. Recharge station over there. Might try and hook up the bloody Muso. Anyway, snuck across, found some coffee, brought it back for the cheese and kisses. We'll get this into us. Well, since I'm getting changed and ready to leave Bow Reynolds, I thought I'd do a board meeting with the Chappies Travels Company that I haven't registered with a nice cup of coffee from across the road. Just looking at my socials. Oh, it's going well. I'm enjoying myself. Thanks, guys. Thanks for following us. Rightio, well we, we pulled into pulled into Hay or South Hay actually. Yeah, we uh, found a great gem, didn't we? Absolutely, but drove around, they got the silo art going. Let me just turn the radio down. We pulled into South Hay, halfway to Leeton and hey, what a beautiful little town as you can see by the vision here, mate. Nice and trees, a lot of leafy. Drove around the back, a lot of war memorial stuff, which is unreal. What about the artwork on the silo? Yeah, yeah. It's so love-like. The town that went to war. Yeah. So apparently, 90% of the uh, men folk went to war. Anyway, found the best if you ever travel in there. Hit the first little um, garage as you come over the bridge, the Murrumbidgee River, and it's Jan's Healthy Foods or something. It's just like a little caravan. Top, top, top egg and bacon oh, roll. Yep. And our bickies are great too. Ali got some bickies. I'll say to Alison, because I can be quite sarcastic, but it's all tongue in cheek. I said, if I'm upset now, Ali, I said, I can always change and be a different person. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Catch you in late. See you guys. Bye. to Leeton. More personal reason, um, Jesus, 91 years ago my dad was born here. My grandfather had a war allotment, the old farms given to him though from um, World War II. And they started their farming off here and um, my pop after George Chapman was a, a teacher and instructor out of the Ag College out of Yenko. Anyway, my dad was working for, for pop for a pouch of tobacco every week. I reckon he worked his bum off. All he wanted was a bit of coin so he'd go out with his mates in town. So Pop and Dad had a dirty big barney. Dad left. His name wasn't to be mentioned again in the house. That was until uh, they saw Pop, or Pop saw Dad coming across the paddock, walking across the paddock. Must have been a couple of years later. The rest of them were up in the house and they were going, oh my God, there's going to be a barney here. And all they saw was my grandfather and my father embrace each other, a dirty big hug. His dad had come home to tell Pop he was heading off to Korea. Since that day, Pop and um, Dad were inseparable. And um, yeah, hence the story begins. That whole period of time I've never been to Leeton until now. And what a place. Population of about 11,000 people. It's just surrounded by the Murrumbidgee waters, so there's canals going everywhere. 30% of the uh, citrus fruits 
for Australia is produced here. And another thing I didn't realise was barley. All the barley is produced here. Mate, this place is rich with grapes, rich with citrus and rice. Great town, beautiful place. And here we are camped up at the showground. So I've said it before, if I'm not free camping, you'll get me into a showground. Loving this place and um, yep, we're gonna go for a walk around, check things out. Ali's gonna hit the laundry before we head off to West Wild. This place is just so green. So, so far, some of the territory we've covered has been fantastic. And um, I've learned a lot myself. Just think, at 63 years of age, you thought you knew a lot. But some of the country we've been pulling into is where you learn what's going on. And I'm embracing everything I know. <coughs> Spoke to the grandkids on the um, phone today. They're pretty excited about seeing us in a week or two. And we're pretty excited about that too. Gotta love these trotters going around, eh? That's another thing that Pop and Dad were totally involved with. Let's go hit the town. said to Alison, I said, just agree with what I say. <laughs> what else is there? Anyway, yeah, big day. Checked out all of Leeton and the surroundings. Did you know Yvonne Corley started just down the road at Bal Balan or whatever it is? Big racket as you can see, yeah. Really? Yeah, that was interesting. So barley's one of their big crops, darling. Um, all the irrigation. Absolutely beautiful place. We're talking about this is a place now for immigrants and refugees. And mate, they're doing it right. A big welcome sign as you come into town even, eh? Yeah. Working at the abattoirs and I suppose at all the fruiteries out here in the factories. But a beautiful place. Yeah, it's quite much people. Good, a good laundry mat, girl. <laughs> Actually, you could do a whole session on laundry mats as you travel. I can. You thought you were going to do something like that. Which ones you use, I don't use. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're heading out for a meal tonight, we're not eating at home. We're going to the local services club. And then tomorrow, we head off to West Wylong. A town with a population of under 2,000, which is cool. Free camp out there. Yeah. And um, go via Griffith. Got to check out Griffith. We'll keep eating. And there's my gorgeous girl walking in front of us. <laughs> we parked right out in front. Don't know if we're getting a stripe here, but in front of the Gem Hotel, real flash. Now this memorial set up in the main street, right in the middle, and it's the Griffith Soldier Settlers Memorial. In proud and honored memory of some 2,000 returned soldiers of the AIF who came to this area at the end of the Great War, they cleared the verge and scrub to establish farms which have since provided a base for what is now the most progressive and productive irrigation area in Australia. So how good is that? And what an unreal memorial. Here's a digger, looks like he's passing his um, 303 across to a farmer, who obviously was a digger, by the look of the great coat he's wearing. These main streets are beautiful. 
I feel beautiful. I tell you, it's a busy town. This Griffith is a busy town. Little Italy. Well, guys, that's um, our pit stop here in Griffith, New South Wales. Our next stop is um, heading off to... Well, we're going up to West Wall. I don't know where we're going to go from there. Hey, check out behind me. We've got to love it. Parked right in front of the flash looking hotel. <laughs> Gotta love Australia. Gotta love Artie. Well, I don't think I have to say too much, do I? Barella. This is where she kicked off. Yvonne Corley. One of the greatest tennis players Australia ever put foot to. Gotta love Barrel. This is halfway between, or oh, probably not halfway, probably a bit less, between Griffith and West Island. Good morning, everyone. Well, we made it, baby girl. We did. We're in orange to see the grandbabies. A couple of days early, um, yep. we were going to stay at, um, well, I wasn't too sure we were going to stay at West Wallen, but we were certainly going to stay at Parks. But um, after talking to the grandkids on the phone. We missed them. So we thought we'd get to orange straight away, yep. as you can see by the video. <laughs> Go off to their school final assemblies, whatever it is. and. I unfortunately will miss that, but I'll be going to Sydney to catch up with my daughters and my other grandbabies. Can't Great wait. road trip, fantastic road yep. trip all the way from it's been um, fun. yeah down there all the way across here. Wow, we've got a beautiful country. We do, and it's so diverse. Honest to God, guys, if you get the chance, do it. You won't regret it, and every day is an adventure. Well, I won't say I hope you enjoyed it, because I know you bloody enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't think I swore that much. But you see me bang my head at the beginning. Look, that was um, when we had an overnight one. But he's, uh, he's yeah. Frank Spencer. Yeah. Do you remember Frank Spencer? Oopsie. Anyway, I got a noodle now I put on that window so I don't bang my head. I don't think I've done anything else wrong. I've been pretty good. No yep. more Franks. Yeah, you've been good. But I'm sure there'll be a couple on the way. Looking forward to hooking up the airbags onto the car and all the other mail we're going to be opening up in the oh, shed. Oh, no, it's like Christmas. Come early. You want to party with Artie? See you guys. You come follow Chappie's Travels. Take Bye. it easy. Bye.